That's something. Rah! For Pete's sake, Emily. You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Questioning doesn't work on her, right? Psychology does, but logic does not. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret. Wait, why did I tell her that? She's something must have she attracted was going to be her killed here, so by her. I've God, come to check it, it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. You're looking for somebody. Your silence speaks volumes. I must have got it right. And you will go to great lengths to find them. So, this person means a lot to you. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Well, that did nothing. I don't have those skills. I don't have those skills. The golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No. You are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer's been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? No, they don't. No, they don't. They really, really, really fucking don't. And don't ever fucking assert that ever again. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. Hmm. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. In other words, you haven't even opened one. You know, you can be real bitchy. Another coin. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Do you know why laurel wreaths are used and not, say, mistletoe or another plant? The laurel wreath symbolized glory in Roman times. In your opinion, what kind would suit me best? Mm, a crown of nettles. You are... You are such a bitch. Well, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. 
If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. It really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. The famous Maid of Orléans, one of your favorite historical heroines. You bet, given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? I'm looking, bitch. Jeez, what happened to you? A fragment of amber. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Probably he's rich as fuck. See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer and... I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art, or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she, might have, she I just wanted to protect it. her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Just in case. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I Confrontation. trust in you, Louis? When are you going to understand that? That was her weakness, right? It... Wait, was that psychology? If that was the case, then yes. You. What do you expect? That I'll fall into Psychology. your arms and see you yeah. you want. What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit yeah, you were succeeded. Reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her ah. difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. 
Yeah, I might have succeeded. some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Hmm. Oh, it's crystal clear. You don't like people telling what to do, and you do like giving the orders to everyone. If I were the matron you speak of, I would have found an underling to search this place, and I would be sound asleep in my bed. Nope. Damn. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that. I got three on my last my chance. Teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard-hitting partner. Oh, God, do you really believe the nonsense that comes out Damn of your mouth? Well, a second ago I did. A little. Sorry, Louis. Your mother is not my partner. Your partner must be your mother. I would need to know who she is first. Damn it! Me. I, I didn't know. I'm an orphan. I thought you'd figured that out. No, I, I didn't know. Otherwise, I wouldn't have mentioned it. Now you know. Uh, it can't be a man. She doesn't trust men. I already figured that out. It has to be the only woman left. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. <laughs> When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. Yeah, after I you guess you're my mother and your mother, which is dead. Affected me so strongly. Character review. I thought it belonged to Emma, yeah. my twin sister. Oh, now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. Ah, uh, you know, you I completely forgot about to what that. Extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has Who no am I talking to in the now? outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message that from home. That wasn't notifying her me in the chair. So... My mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. At the beginning of that's the game, strange. when maybe their disappearance my mother is holding the gun, that's not her. That's not Emily. That's Emma. Them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself, or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Damn, long loading screen. Uh, when this loading screen's done, I want to look up a bit on Emma. See if I can gather any information on her. Other than the fact that she's Emily's twin sister. And how they are pretty much one in the same. So. There we go. Okay, so. We have Emily Hillsborough. 
Oh, that's going to make things hard, isn't it? Emma Hillsborough is the twin sister of Emily Hillsborough, living in the shadow of her sister. Emma shares the same identity with her in the eyes of the world. The two sisters link their destiny in the most intimate way possible. Workplace boyfriends, lovers, the two sisters shared everything together. That's kind of weird. This double identity was much appreciated by Charlotte de Mecklenburg Stoutz, the present Queen of England, when she asked the two sisters to serve the crown. But with time, Emma had increasingly greater difficulty with her role as a double. It is thus tight. It is thus tired of her role that Emma travels to the Mortimer Manor as diplomatic representative of England. What do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by Freedom your side. Investigation. Same here. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. What? What? Hello. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Let's see. Uh, sex or help someone in need? Um, as much as I want to choose sex, uh, I'm going to go with Elizabeth I'm Sorry, here. Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. So long as it doesn't result in sex with her. Elizabeth, I mean. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. No! Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Yes, I need something to calm me down. No thanks, I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louie. What I have to say uh, to you is of the utmost importance. I should not have come here. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? Know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa, the alcohol's. Yep, I knew it. <sighs> Gone to my head. Damn it. She drugged it. Here, the condemns last drink. Uh, no. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're going to have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louis. Either drink or get out. I'm gonna have to leave. I can't do this. No, I won't drink. 
All right, Louie. Then get the hell out of here. You're incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. Get out! That was weird. I should have just gone to have sex with Emily. Curse me being nice, I lost out on sex. Possible three-way with Emily and Emma. Well, now nah, Emma's missing, so we know that, but... No, nope, wait, no, nope, that's gross, that's incest. Never mind, that's disgusting. Trin unlocked, clear-headed. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? I could have spent the night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. Oh, well, never mind. Tomorrow's another day. Yep, I'm a moron. <laughs> Sorry. Arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell's going on? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. The fuck? I mean, I knew she was saying, like, condemned and all that, but I didn't think she'd actually die. First episode. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. I resolved the enigma of the Medusa. I discovered Lord Mortimer's room where he hides his treasure. I found out that Emily was hiding something. I persuaded Emily to tell her me her secret. I accepted to keep Elizabeth company. I left Elizabeth's place before I got drunk. Smart choice. Didn't fail anything. The alternate paths where I could have joined Emily in my room. I should have done that. So close. Ah, oh, damn. Woo, baby. All right, let's do this shit. Okay. Yes. There we go. There's that. Um, logic. Let's do more with logic. Let's do that. There we go. Now, is this the end? Because this is a long episode. Almost three and a half hours right now. These episodes are going to be long, and I love it. Trophy earned, battle hardened. Trophy earned, once upon a time. So I think this is it. I wonder if there's a next time on. Nope, that's it. That is the end. Executive producers, project managers, game director. I just want to see writers of this. Alright, so that was episode one of The Council. Uh, anyway, I'm not here. Episode two, coming soon. You can actually go back and choose the, uh, okay, so, I, I didn't think this would do anything. So, you can actually go back and choose a separate quest individually. That's interesting. But, uh, anyway, first episode of The Council is finished. Three hours, 22 minutes, and 52 seconds as the currently, I'm looking at my data here. Holy fuck. Fuck, that was great. I had a lot of fun with that. Now, listen, let's go over the problems first. Um, there are some, you know, like just some minor complications. I think uh, in some respects the voice acting's kind of 
Mm, I mean, it's not bad, but I do have some questionable moments considering it. I think our main protagonist, Louis, does have some moments. He just seems to kind of deliver that same line, uh, like that same emotional delivery all that time. Uh, there's some glitches, some facial stuff, you know, like they're really stiff. I don't think they blink once. That's got to really do strain on their eyes. <laughs> but um, those are some minor stuff. Now, into the positives. Great start to this story so far. I mean, there's a lot of intrigue, a lot of mystery, a lot of detective work. And usually that's stuff I'm not good at because I, can, I can't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, let alone something, some important minor detail that was said earlier in this game. But, you know what? I, I like the direction that this story is on right now. Lord Mortimer seems to be a very mysterious figure. And we're combining a lot of these historical figures. I know Washington and Napoleon are real. Um, I can't say if some of these other figures are real. I mean, um, I'm not sure if Jock is real. I don't know if the Cardinal guy is real. I, I'm going to... I'm probably going to Wikipedia or search these guys up. But um, there are some... I like the historical relevance of at least some aspects of the game. And that was a big reason why I'm drawn to it. I definitely like the incorporation of the choices. You can definitely see these choices are going to have a much bigger impact and maybe in areas of Telltale games, which I deeply respect. I think this this game does have a lot of replayability, does have a lot of uh, variability, especially with like the choice uh, the the RPG elements. Like you can really create your character with Louie, upgrade on certain skills and adapt in those kind of ways, which is really not, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, the text also adds some. They act, act, act as like some as like uh, class mods in a way that like they upgrade some skills like in science or psychology and stuff like that, and it's amazing to see like this detective work or you act with the way with certain people because they may be vulnerable to this or or uh, invulnerable to this, which is really interesting. Like finding people's kryptonite in a way to get more answers out of them, dig out of them, and that confrontation step I think is a much better done than I'm just going to use this as an example. Uh, in Life is Strange Before the Storm, you had that uh, talkback thing with Chloe. Uh, that confrontation thing is a very similar mechanic to that talkback. But in this one, I think it works a little better. I mean, there's still some problems. I mean, like, I guess twice with that last one with Emily. And be like, oh, it's your mother. No, it's my mother. And she's like, nope, nope. And then I say your sister, like, oh, wow, you are such a great detective. I never, who would have thought? I'm like, but the third time's a charm but like i guessed incorrectly twice before that uh but uh, like i said it's a very similar mechanic to that i definitely think it works a bit better with this game and the dialogue is so much less cringy as well but i think in this context like it makes more sense with these confrontations a lot of the times in life is strange before the storm it um it kind of felt like really weird like really just thrown in there because we had to include it but it really makes no sense this one definitely makes a little more sense. It really is interesting because you are actually doing some detective work. You're actually doing something where it's kind of worthy. You're trying to get to know something, find something out that's about this person. And I think it's a really cool mechanic. And even in Before the Storm, I didn't think it was too bad. But it really, it was clear as day they were trying to just think of something to replace the time travel with uh, with Max with and give Chloe something to do. But uh, honest, I hate to compare this more to Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm because those two games are, piece, are giant piles of shit and this one's actually pretty good. But those are two of the biggest like things that say we are we are drawing influence from Telltale. Obviously, Life is Strange did that. Now this game's doing that as well. I'm not sure if that was intentional or you know just like oh yeah, we like these game type like this type of stuff and we're doing our own thing. But um, I definitely think this is on a much better kind of path right now i think the story definitely has much more appeal to it it's i think the writing is slightly better it is definitely better i mean i there are like i said some moments of you know like strange dialogue but overall i think the story and writing is so much on a much better level than it is on life is strange which try to be too like artsy and smart like oh we are deep and meaningful and really you're shallow and empty this game, I don't. It's not really trying to have like that deeper meaning. It's just trying to be like have that mystery, that air of aura to it, like that mystery and intrigue to it, which I think is working much more in this game's favor than it did with Life is Strange, which had a mystery but never really like went all out with it. You had the stuff with Rachel Amber, 
disappearing, but that's never really touched on until much, much later. You're just spending like the last first, like the first two episodes, repeating the same stuff, like getting to know Chloe, and it fails miserably. This one, you're launched right into the mystery. You're launched right into the intrigue, and you are getting on that path. It's it's kind of it's I, it's definitely more along the lines of something like The Wolf Among Us compared to Life is Strange, which I will gladly take over any given day. Story's great. Characters seem fine. Uh, dialogue and voice acting could probably use a bit of work, but choices have great impact. There's a lot of elements I like about this, and I can't wait for whenever episode 2, 3, 4, 5 are going to come out. I really think this has a lot of potential, and I think that um, if we could get more people to know about this game, I think it'd be great, because I think this game is really going to... I think this game's really going to challenge Telltale especially to, you know, maybe step it up if this gets more, a little more attention. Because I think Telltale can definitely learn something. And this is, and I'm saying this right after the first episode, which is impressive. But hopefully the next four episodes will continue this trend. It's definitely got a very good start to it so far. And, you know, it's the first episode. A lot of things, first episodes are setting things up, but they were able to get a lot done and accomplish a lot in a very small amount of time. So good for them. Anyway, so that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will probably continue recording this similar to the Telltale games. I'll include this, but uh, I'm still very limited with all the stuff I'll be uploading. But I really wanted to do this, really get this uploaded, and, and help in any way get it some exposure. Because I think this is definitely a very good game. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I have no idea how long these episodes are going to be before the next one. Uh, Telltale as obviously, you know, usual pattern, one, two, at the worst, three, four months. Uh, Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storms were consistently about a month or two apart. No idea about this. I think because this game has a lot more variety, unless this is planned out more beforehand, this is going to be a very, very long time. But we'll have to see when episodes two through five come out and what the span is. But I will be ready for them when they come out. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And go out and support these creators, because this is definitely a very good game.